this presidential campaign, we've heard some of the most abhorrent and deliberately false statements about the current president. Some of them we've chosen to broadcast, many we have not. One man spreading some of the most poisonous mythologies is this gentleman, Mr. Dinesh D'Souza. Until recently, Mr. D'Souza was president of the King's College here in New York, an overtly Christian institution offering a liberal arts education. Two years ago, Mr. D'Souza published a book entitled The Roots of Obama's Rage, and now he's produced a so-called documentary called 2016 Obama's America. Despite having no relationship with his Kenyan father, Mr. D'Souza says that the president harbors a post-colonial hatred for America and that he's determined to destroy this country's Christian foundation. Here he is in his own words. In my opinion, Obama has developed a pathological hatred for traditional Christianity a pathological hatred for traditional Christianity. Unfortunately, since giving that interview, Mr. D'Souza has been caught with his pants down, literally. This man, who stands so firmly for traditional family values, who delivered a keynote address at this year's CPAC conference, has been caught sharing a hotel room with another married woman, Miss Denise Odie Joseph. He introduced her as his fiance, even though he's still married to his current wife. I should add, that one of Mr. D'Souza's former girlfriends is Miss Anne Coulter, a woman who this week described the president as a retard. So there you have it. Mr. D'Souza, a man of traditional values, a man who says the president hates Christianity, sadly forced to resign from the King's College because he believes that monogamy means sleeping with one woman at a time.